Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Code Socket. I hope you guys are doing well. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about one very interesting and important topic in C programming language, which is the dangling pointer. Guys, this is a very important topic because it has been asked in lots of interviews and at the same time, many colleges actually don't teach this in their normal engineering schedule or syllabus okay so we'll be learning about the dangling pointers today before starting this video as usual i would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos with your friends and family okay guys i've been telling you this because it really motivates us a lot when you do this because when you like our videos we really feel more pumped up to create more good content for you okay and thanks a lot for your support as usual and i hope you'll be supporting us more in future okay so as i said Today we'll be starting with dangling pointers. Okay, so let's directly go to our ID. Okay, here I am inside my ID. So I said we'll be talking about dangling pointers. Now, what actually is a dangling pointer? So by definition, a dangling pointer is a pointer in a computer program that points to a memory location that has been deallocated or it has been freed. Okay, and that leads to undefined behavior when the program attempts to access or modify the data at that location okay that means you are trying to point to some memory that is not existing it has been freed it has been deallocated okay for example let us take a simple function to understand more about dangling pointers okay so what i will do i will just say i have a pointer function int star function and here what I will do is I will take a variable x equal to say 10 and then because it is an integer function which is a pointer it is returning an integer value right so what I will do I will return the address of x fine so I have an integer variable x which has the value 10 and I am returning the address of x so that from the main function when I try to call this function i should be able to get the value of x which is 10 okay from the reference i will be trying to get the value of x now let's go to our main function and try to call that function okay because it is a pointer function i need a pointer variable to store it okay ptr is equal to i will call the function okay so now whatever address is returned by this function will be stored inside this pointer okay now if i want the value of x what i will do i will just print the value of x is person d comma and because this pointer is only storing the address we know that we have to use a star before the pointer variable in order to access the value okay and if you guys know it the process of accessing the value from an address is called if you understand on if you remember it is called dereferencing okay if you don't remember i'm just giving you the name from the pointer or the address if you access the value it is called dereferencing because the pointer is a reference to the address of any variable right okay now basic logic that you have is that this x is returning the address so here i'm storing the address in the pointer and afterwards i'm trying to access the value of that variable x here by this print statement right now let's run this and see so practically speaking the value should be 10 right the value of x is 10 i should be able to get it according to this code but let's see what happens now i'll run this now see guys it is not even printing the print statement and you can see the process finished with exit code some random value now this scenario is actually called a dangling scenario or dangling pointer dangling means it is hanging in between it is nowhere this side or that side okay hanging in the between and as i said it is pointing to a computer memory which has been already freed because when we call this function we were trying to access the value of x by using the address or the ampersand but the scope of the main function and the pointer function integer function this one 
are not same so this function memory has been freed so we are not able to access this value because of that kind of a scenario as i said this is a scenario called the dangling scenario okay you can get this in the interview most of the times okay this is called a dangling scenario fine so in this case even though we are trying to access the address and trying to fetch the data or the value inside x we are not able to get it okay because as i said this memory has been freed or deallocated now most of the times many people don't understand how to solve this in that case you can use one of the storage classes called the static keyword okay now as soon as you write static your x variable becomes globally accessible throughout the entire program sorry for the spelling mistake okay so when we write static your x variable is globally accessible by any function in your code okay so that is why we write static just like we have static in java or c++ we also have the static keyword in c and these are actually called storage classes okay we have four storage classes we will create a different video on this guys you don't have to worry about that right now just remember we have static extern we have auto and we have register okay these are the four storage classes that we have fine and as soon as we write static the variable becomes globally accessible now let's see the output okay now i'm running the same function and let's see what we get you can see here guys i'm getting the value of x is 10 so as i said i will repeat myself a dangling pointer is a pointer in a computer program that points to a memory location that has been deallocated or freed and it leads to undefined behavior when the program attempts to access or modify the data at that location that is what it was happening right we are trying to access this data but it is not happening therefore we use the static keyword okay this is a storage class we have four storage classes static extern auto and register out of that i am using static which is making the variable x globally accessible so guys this is a very important concept please learn it and if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comment section okay so i hope you like this video please if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and like and share it with your friends and family and guys please motivate us by subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell icon okay it is really helpful and it will really motivate us to bring more better content to you so thank you for watching guys this is it for this video this is saurabh signing off thank you and happy learning